This viewer asks, I come off too rigid in my approaches. What can I do? Keep practicing? Well, body awareness would help. Sounds like you're a little stiff, so you could use a little more flexibility yoga with sweet Erica over here it would be great. You can go to her Instagram and sign up and she can do digital yoga with you. That'll help loosen you up and kind of get the stick out of your butt because that's part of the problem. Love's playful and fun. And if you're stiff, that tells me that you're a little inflexible. It's probably in your physiology. So yoga would help you out. Also, I'd recommend that you go to Orlando, besimplywell.com, get worked on by Dr. Deanna for like two weeks of intensive network care. Do Also, I would encourage you to do stages 1 through 12 of the consciousness exercises. So there's a playlist on my YouTube channel at Coach Corey Wayne. It's also on my Facebook page, Coach Corey Wayne, and do stages 1 through 12. And you can do those. You can put the videos on in front of your TV, and Dr. Deanna and Gracie take you through all 12 stages, and you can do that, and that will help you. That will give you flexibility, more body awareness, help you feel more peaceful, more relaxed, listen to relaxing music, maybe meditate, and just get to the point where maybe you should take a break. Maybe take 30 days off and say, hey, I'm not going to ask anybody out. I'm not going to ask for any numbers. I'm just going to get in the habit of striking up conversations with people wherever I go and get good at that and get good at small talk because what a lot of guys do is they only want to talk to the pretty girls they really like and want to go out with, and really it's developing social skills, being able to small talk in essence. And so by practicing with people, anybody and anybody, wherever you go, you're going to talk to people where you don't really kind of want to talk to them or it might be kind of hard to get them to engage in conversation, so you got to work a little harder at it. And you don't really care one way or another if, they, if it goes great or they're really – because some people will be happy to talk to you. Others will be cordial, but you can tell they're not really excited about chatting. And others, you won't be able to get them to shut up. They'll just keep going on and on and on, and they'll be glad – that you said hello to them or engage them in conversation. And then when you turn around, you're in the line at the grocery store and there's a cute girl there. It's just the same thing that you've rehearsed. It's like when I train with the mocha bear, John, in the shoot house. It's when you go through that enough, when you're under stress and you know there are people waiting to ambush you and when you get shot with the UTM rounds, it's going to sting. That's why they call it the bee stings. And it's just you. You don't hear anything. The people know where you're coming and what door you're coming through more than likely, and they're waiting to ambush you. And so you're hiding and concealing as much as you can and pying into the room, and it's really quiet. And when you, the first couple of times you do it, you're breathing real hard. Your mask is fogging up. You feel like your chest is going to explode. But when you do it four or five times and then you easily take out the bad guys, then – it's just, it's like breathing. It's like ordering a Happy Meal at McDonald's in the takeout or the drive through line. It's getting to the point where you can create small talk with anybody makes it easy. What's happening is you're getting emotionally overwhelmed when you start talking to a girl that you like and you just haven't practiced it enough. So practice it everywhere with everybody. Take 30 days off. No asking for numbers or dates or anything. Just with everybody. Try to engage them in a conversation to get better at it. And watch the video, Improving Your Social Skills. It's on YouTube. And follow that. You want to be natural because girls are really able to pick up on the fact that you're nervous. And they're going to pick up on if you have a routine or a set statement that you always say and you're robotic, as Corey always says. Uh, it's got to, You've got to be yourself. You've got to be natural. You can't pretend to be somebody that you're not, too. Yeah, you, gotta, you want to ask questions, the kind of questions she would enjoy answering if you meet a girl you really like her you're fascinated you shouldn't have a hard time coming up with things you want to know about her because you're extremely attracted to her and you feel it physically but you feel it emotionally as well and so ask her the kinds of things that what does she love what she love to do where's she from what she like to do for fun those kinds of things having a steady flow of conversation asking opinions is always a good thing when you don't know what to do, because everybody loves to talk. Everybody loves to give advice, especially women. If you ask them for about something they could potentially give advice about or their opinion on, they'll probably talk your ear off. But women that are interested will be in excited to talk to you, and those that aren't, you can tell they're like, 
ah, I got somewhere to go. Their body language will be pointed away in the escape position. They'll be looking around for their girlfriends to save them. When you can feel that and she's not excited to talk to you, then you just say, hey, have a great day. It was nice chatting. I got to run. And off you go. Um, Robert Greene that wrote Art of Seduction and 48 Laws of Power says that if you want to win, get somebody to trust you and pay attention, a good way to like connect to somebody is to ask them for help or ask them to do something for you. That it's like a really good way to like build. Bobby a uses that one great because he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, and he's like he, that was like his pickup line. He says, "I need." I said, "What's the best pickup line for if you're paralyzed?" He says, "I need help." Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can ask a you know, pretty girl. Hey, I need help. That's all you gotta say. And they, you know, they come right over to start helping, and then that's he's just getting to come over so he can start hitting on him because he don't care. He's in a wheelchair. He's like, he's going to shoot his shot. He knows now, you know, verse, back in the day when he was walking, it was really easy for him. But now his numbers, I think we, he was saying it was like 20% of what he used to get. Oh, but, I mean, so he bad, does, actually. Still bad. Still One out of well. five. <laughs> and he knows how to talk. He's extremely confident. He's, he's playful. He doesn't care what people think. And he knows just, hey, if she's not interested, maybe her girlfriend will be. And he doesn't care. And he'll go and talk to her girlfriend. That's awesome. That's that's on confidence right there. Yeah. 